And we are back. What was the date on that? What? Wait, wait. What was the date on my last save? <sighs> the 16th of December. So, story time. As it turns out, it is very hard to stream on a regular schedule when you do not have a livable apartment. It makes it pretty hard to do a lot of things, in fact. Uh, but I'm back again, and uh, I won't even make any promises that I'll be consistent anymore because, frankly, I don't know what the fuck's gonna happen. <laughs> Actually, that's not true. I do know what's gonna happen, and what's gonna happen is that I'm looking for a new apartment. So you know what? When that happens, that's probably gonna cause yet more disruptions. But what I can also say is that I will be trying my best to be streaming regularly until those interruptions happen. Uh, with that out of the way, what the hell were we doing? Um... No, that's rolling. Okay. Mm, I'm pretty sure I know where this is. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for making you hear that because my microphone did not mute. So uh, that, that's terrific. Um, it says head to the central laboratory. Have I talked to the people around town? Though? If I'm here, then I think probably not. I I imagine that had I talked to them, I would have saved in front of the central laboratory. I also want to go to... Let's see if I can find it. Okay. It is the south exit. Good morning. <laughs> oh, that's right, we have Tita. Tita is amazing and has very low HP. I'm helping my granddad today. me okay today, okay? I ended up spending all night working with Chief Murdoch after everything calmed down. Hmm. I bet Will Mond is in, opera in operations is completely losing his mind. The orbital calculator had to have just been blown out. Yeah, shutting down a computer like that is probably not great. Oh, okay. You won't let me go? Fine then. Fine then. We don't need to go there. Last night was such a burden on our customers. A lot of things that got fixed so quickly, but still. I don't know that we've had a night with an orbital light since before the revolution. Because the orbit stopped. <laughs> of course, it'll be a big problem if orbit stopped again like they did yesterday. Kids today can't even imagine a world without them. Hmm. Did I buy stuff from you? It looks like I did. You are a professional, sir. And professionals don't break dishes. That's a lie. They definitely do. Looks like all the packing is in order. Almost ready to go. Man, 
man, these boxes are just a mess. It's gonna take forever to find what I need. Well, you can't blame this on the orbits going out, I don't think. Yes, you did. Sure, was something else, don't you think? Um. Wait, you're saying something different than you did before. Hmm. Were you all okay last night? I thought the lights had just broken or something. I was on my way to the factory. When I got outside though, the entire town was dark. I don't have to be a genius to know something wasn't right about that. Oh, you know, I'm actually, I just, I've had a thought. What if I, I don't have the right window for it. I mean, I have that there, but I don't think it actually does anything. Hmm. Oh, that's too bad. I wanted to do a thingy, but it looks like I cannot. Last night I was tinkering with that orbital gun, when suddenly my analyzer just went dead. For a second I thought I had broken the gun. Um... Okay, well, I don't have that, so I do want to buy it at some point. Because I want to have one of everything. Although, it's not going to have priority because it's not a, an improvement over my current equipment. I don't have this either. Hmm. Only 2,000. We'll get this back later. I was so surprised when the ornaments shut down. I heard there were some rare force crystals that could do such a thing, but I didn't know it could be done over such a wide area. Okay, so I remember that we were responsible, sort of. It was the black ornament that shut everything down. What I don't remember <coughs> is how we, we made it do that. Like, we were trying to cut into it, I think, right? Good morning. That was some day yesterday, wasn't it? When you're ready, we'd like you to fill... We'd like your full report on it. I've heard the basics from the factory chief already. But I'd like to expand that account with some first-hand details. I see. So the ornament that was sent to Cassius in secret was in fact something dangerous. The guild is very interested in these developments. We need to continue working with Professor Russell for the present. Hmm. I feel like there should be more jobs available. What? An assignment? You now? Hmm. <laughs> ah, that would be us. And also Tita. Oh, it is you too. Just like Kilika said. <laughs> Leaving things here in sight to you two and more for the time being. Don't burn the place down. Sure, you can rely on us. Or at least Joshua. He is the reliable one. Air quotes.
look at that. The clock's slow. I guess it's true. All of the orphans shut down. There, there. No need to speak. Last night was quite hard for you, wasn't it? I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> There's nothing you need to apologize for. Experiments are vital to progress, and sometimes experiments must fail. We all understand this. Tita, make sure you are there to support your grandfather. I'm always willing to listen if you need someone to talk to. If you have any problems, I welcome you to bring them here. Nothing like starting the day with a morning- well, I don't know about that. I mean, literally, I don't. Um... These moving stairs are cool. I'm sure I said this before, but looking at this just makes my head scream like there must be so much maintenance that goes into keeping these things working. Like they're outside, they are completely exposed to the elements. And do you not have any idea how much regular I how often regular escalators like even regular indoor escalators need a heck of a lot of maintenance. And these are just going to be so much worse. Oh, hey, could you look at that? Hmm. My husband said all the orbits stopped running yesterday. Is that even possible? Well, I guess so. Something like that wasn't in the first edition of this. I suppose I need to find more specialized documents. Wow, this little kid. I was cooking dinner and suddenly the organ stopped. Luckily, it only meant that the stew my daughter forgot on the stove didn't get burnt. Uh, yeah, that's Good. Wait. There's a upper floor. Aha! I was making dinner when my, with my mom when the lights went out. I ran outside and everywhere was black. I kind of lost it. Oh. <laughs> oh, Tita. Well, up we go! That's my brother over there selling drinks. Our dream is to make enough money to open our own store. Hmm. The girls, yep. Mm -hmm. Can you not hear me? Oh, my microphone is working, so you should be able to hear me. Okay, so if you can hear me, then please say something. Like, sorry about that, but like my microphone sh is definitely picking up. At least it's. Well, I've turned the music off now. Um, let, if, in fact, if anything, I might be a little bit loud. Um, but you're saying you can't hear me. Um, that's connected. Okay. Yeah, my some of my balancing might have just got uh, mixed up because I've connected and disconnected my computer a few times. Okay, uh, well, let's turn that down about 
Okay, how about this? Is this better? Um, you know what? I'm going to just turn that down a little bit more. Let's do it to... There? Okay. That should hopefully be better. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Is there anyone over here? I don't remember. Okay, thanks. Uh, all the ornaments stopped working last night, right? Such a good thing it didn't happen during the day. factory. I don't remember what floor the... He's on the second floor, I think. I want to say he's on the second floor. The guy in charge of the factory. Don't have that. Can't afford it either. Don't have that. Can't afford it. Um... Okay. Professor Russell is in his workshop on the third floor. Okay, then. Probably waiting for us. <laughs> Good morning. It's been quite a busy day so far. We've had so many customers coming in. I think last night's incident was due to broken orphans. It makes you realize just how many of Zeiss's citizens don't understand orphanage technology. There's a basement level, that's right. Um, we're just gonna... We're just gonna... Go in here. It's locked. Roger! I'll start with the conveyor then. Oh. Okay. I'd like you to start by checking the conveyor to make sure there aren't any problems as a result of yesterday's little incident. When that's done, run a safety check on the outside machines. Hmm. Floor two, then we'll skip to the top. And finish on floor three. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, Mr. Murdoch. What a day yesterday was. We've been getting complaints from citizens all morning. Wow, that's rough. It's not like it was your fault or anything. Um. Estelle? No, no, no. Don't apologize. These kinds of things happen when you're doing science. It happens a little bit more often around Professor Russell's science, though. Speaking of the professor, has he come in already? He came in very early this morning, all fired up. Probably needs some assistance, so go on to his workshop and see him. <laughs> By the way, Tita, please don't get the professor too excited. If we have repeated yesterday, we won't be able to do anything for a while. I understand, sir. I'll be careful. What, what was back there? I feel like I've been in that room. Hmm... Hmm. That eager over there, he's such a pain in the butt. I can totally see why he's lived his entire life since- what? 
Hmm. I mean, you just sort of have a point. There, it does look like there's a lot of books out of place in here. I've already read that. Pretty, I'm pretty sure I've read everything in there. Ah, uh, to the roof! Morning, all. I was quite surprised today. Since I came in this morning, the Oracle Calculator seems to be working more smoothly. If things continue at this pace, we can look forward to work as usual in a few days. Hmm. Okay. Well, probably we gave it a hard reset. I'm gonna guess. Like that makes that makes sense to me. But I guess it is new technology. You know what? I think this is actually faster. Good morning. It would seem yesterday was quite stressful for everyone. The clinic isn't quite tied into the rest of the factory, so things are mostly quiet. Everyone else was running around until all hours, though. When I came in this morning, I found an... Um... Huh. He's been living here at the factory for a while. He doesn't have an owner, and tends to be cared for by anyone who feels the urge. Something like that. Hmm. No, I think what you mean to say, Tita, is that we, you were on your way to play with the cat. Last night was pretty fascinating, wasn't it? I heard there was some kind of an interference with the generators. That's news to me. Everyone's calling it some kind of disaster, but surely someone got something from it. What do you think, Tita? <laughs> I'm sure I could have guessed you'd say that. You are... you do take after Professor Rust, after all. Harry is a completely different story, though. What a night that was! We were rushing to finish our test, when suddenly everything just went black! I almost glued the soles onto my desk! What? You do look- it does look like you have some shoes there. Hmm. Tomato! Finally, on to floor number three. Our eventual destination. Mm. Yesterday's event was quite a surprise. As far as I know, this event is inexplicable within the limits of our current knowledge of purple tech. Okay, now where did I put those documents? Speaking of unorganized rooms, L Louise, she's an exemplary researcher and scientist, but she's losing her drive working in orbital weapons research. I agree with her transfer. It'll be good for her. Okay, off to plot. Bah! 
another failure. Grandpa, we came to see if you could you if we could help. Oh, hello, Tita. And you two are here as well, I see. <laughs> what can I say? We were worried. So, what are you working on? Well, as you can see, I'm trying to cut into the Black Orphanage. But it hasn't been going very well. You're using a table saw? Dude! Perhaps a demonstration is in order. And click! It's a table saw. Yeah. Oh, I see what's happening. The black orbman is shutting off the table saw. It's, sh it's shutting off power. It seems like the black orbman is blocking the functionality of the other orbmans, interfering with them in some way. And I doubt it was solely made for the purpose of killing the lights. Doesn't the effect spread like it did last night? Yes, good thinking. This interference with nearby ornament seems to spread out, moving from ornament to ornament like chain lightning. I put the range at about five yards. But if there are no ornaments powered on within that range, well, then that's where the effect stops. However, even with that knowledge, there's no way to know why it causes machines to simply stop without getting a look inside of it. It's very troubling. Didn't you see the big saw do exactly nothing to it, it just a moment ago? Well... You know, like, if the table saw can, is capable of sawing through it, then you should really do it with a hacksaw as well, made of the same material. It'll just take longer. Like, the benefit of the table saw isn't its sh sharpness. It's the, um... It is the torque, I guess. And speed with which it applies that torque. Like, you can definitely, definitely use, like, a hacksaw for anything you can use a table saw on. Just a hacksaw will take longer. Actually, it might work. No, that's not what I meant. Orville power, that which drives ornaments to work, cannot be used for this problem. We'll have to find a way that does not rely on orbital energy. An arc welder would also do it. Wait, no, arc welder? No, a regular welder. A propane torch. It's a device that burns fuel to generate energy. The idea has been around for a long time. But it's very inefficient when compared to an orbital engine. However, all you need to work on them are standard tools. But Grandpa, I've never even seen one of those. I'm pretty certain there's only one, or there. I'm pretty sure certain there is one under study in the Central Factory Workshop. Oh, you'll need to get fuel as well. It's called gasoline. It's extremely flammable. Well, strictly speaking, it's the fumes of gasoline that is flammable, but, um, or at least explosive. Hmm. <coughs> well, <coughs> Excuse me. You could go and get the engine and gasoline. It's going to be heavy, but you bracers should be strong enough to move it. Hmm? Let's see. I've forgotten. 
Uh, okay. What floor is that on? Fifth floor. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, this is probably about what Estelle's good for for this sort of research, if we're being honest. She's she's not really technically educated. I mean, I suppose Joshua isn't either, but he does have a more... I think, at least on a basic level, he has a stronger grasp than Estelle. On the advanced level, probably he's in a similar boat. Uh, this is the operations room, isn't it? Aha! The computer! Hey, you two! I haven't seen you before. I, I was just up here. So do you mind telling me what business you have? We are here at the request of Professor Russell. So if, um... Russell? He, he, he's not in trouble again, is he? Again? You really don't have much faith in him, do you? No, I mean... I realize he's a genius. He was the one who developed the Capel unit, after all. But even being acquainted with him results in no end of trouble. Tita, on the other hand, is an incredibly sweet girl. Just an all-around good kid. But I don't think we have time to be standing around in this case. Oh, is that what this is all about? In that case, go right ahead. Yes, I want to play with the computer! These days, they mostly get used to assist in airship navigation. But this one is equipped with the fastest general purpose data processing in the world! It can be used for anything from calculating material density to information retrieval. Well, this is the honest answer, but... <laughs> really? <laughs> I mean, I think I understood how to use it. I... Look, Estelle, you don't need to understand how a computer works in order to use it. Speaking as someone who does know, understand how a computer works, more or less, in real life. In real life, modern computers are so incredibly complex that almost no one in the whole world understands how they actually work. But, um... But I certainly understand the the concepts which drive a computer. Uh, anyway. of the factory donates a large amount of money. Edgar the third dies. Alicia the second. Orbital powered airship is completed. Thirty nine failed test flights. Zeiss Engineering Factory is renamed to Zeiss Central Factory and begins sharing technology. The Orville Corporation is established, and the Transit Commuter Airship commissioned. Mm. Factory Airship. That's interesting. Central Factory is dismantled and reconstructed at its current site. The partially underground factory in the Calavia Hills is completed. Professor Russell resigns from his position. Mm, 
natural science and medical research. Eternus sinks. Crown Prince Judas dies. Oh, that explains a lot about the royal situation, actually. I wonder how it can tie in with my theory about a certain potential princess. The Orbital Network um, is announced. A Hundred Years War starts. Peace Accord. Capel Orbital Computer is completed. The High Speed Cruiser. General term for devices that draw orbital energy from septium. Invented 50 years ago by Professor C. S. Epstein, the clockwork mechanism inside causes a reaction between quarks, which in turn produces a variety of different phenomena. Their greatest advantages over combustion engines is that the orbital energy within them is gradually restored over time, and the variety of different phenomena they can produce. They are also much more economically efficient. So they are cheaper at, and self-regenerating. An electrical circuit with a crystalline structure made from processed septium fragments. They serve as an energy source, but also cause varied phenomena, uh, which are only seen when they are placed inside the orbit. A grouping of seven gemstones found throughout the continent, prized as jewels for eons, it was also regarded as a symbol of mystery. The invention of technology to refine and process septium fragments too small to use as jewels, called sepith, and made them into quartz, resulted in a massive increase in the importance of septium. Orbital ships. Commonly regarded as the crowning achievement of orbital technology, they enable the power of flight. By combining a flight engine to control gravity and an orbital engine to provide vast amounts of energy. Because of the need for high efficiency orbital energy transfer and the complexity of controlling the airship, many modern orbital ships are required are equipped with highly capable arithmetic logic units. Orbital ships less than 20 arg in length are simply called airships. Oh, whoops. Any firearm or cannon powered by orbit technology. Currently the most common form of military weaponry among many nations. With orbital firearms, energy is focused in a helical path along the barrel down to a tiny point, which then forces a large metal projectile outward at high velocity. These guns can fire more rounds than traditional gunpowder arms, and at adjustable levels of force. Orbital cannons, meanwhile, fire shells containing energy which explode on impact. Similar to orbital guns, they have less recoil than gunpowder using cannons, and their power can be similarly adjusted. So. It sounds to me like orbital weaponry are actually like handheld railguns. <laughs> uh, Orbments used to manipulate orbital magics. Usually no larger than a pocket watch, it is its internal workings are extremely minute and elegantly constructed. When quartz designed for tactile orbits use is installed, it improves the abilities of the bear. Hmm. The internal mechanism take over the otherwise complex process that would be required to use magic. Okay, so that implies that it's possible to use magic without an orbital art, uh, with an ornament made to do it. Hmm. Interesting. Any wheeled vehicle powered by orbital energy. Widely considered uncomfortable to ride and very limited in speed, primarily used for transporting cargo. 
a liquid derived from the purification of the naturally occurring hydrocarbon compound known as petroleum. Used primarily as fuel for combustion engines and as an industrial solvent. Um... Republic manufactured gasoline, 20 tanks, manufacturing factory, a machine which generates usable energy by burning fuel within, less efficient than its orbital counterpart due to issues with gaseous exhaust and noise pollution. Maintenance Chief Gustav. Okay, well, I think I know where Gustav is. Hmm, interesting. I see. Overseeing the airfield, okay. And the basement, okay. I guess we'll grab the gasoline first. Since it is basically on our way. Wait, I just want to. Oh, no, that's a. That's a balcony. Okay, into the... wait! Hmm... You have moved! I don't like that you have moved. Excuse me? I think we have a tank of it back in storage somewhere. I'll check for you. I don't know why, but somehow I get a kick out of this conveyor belt. This conveyor belt system isn't just for ordering goods. It's an entire network that connects the whole facility. Professor Russell invented it. Originally, it was just a series of tubes for sending products back and forth. But the professor completely rebuilt the system into something a lot more useful. Of course, getting all of the infrastructure in place was a gigantic pain. It has a tendency to fireball. You hear that? Be careful, Estelle. Okay, you are saying the same things. That's good. It means I don't need to talk to everyone in town. Hi, need a flight? The westbound airship just departed a few moments ago. You mean the maintenance chief? He's not here at the moment. He went to the Leston Fortress two or three days ago. Some kind of repair emergency on a military patrol ship? Um, should we really be carrying gasoline to a fortress? Hmm. Oh, uh, that doesn't sound very good. Oh! Wait, no. Maybe he's on the airship. Hmm. 
Oh, I bet that is the factory airship. Oh, that's kind of cool, actually. Hmm. Hmm? What do you want? Uh-oh. I think I just skipped some dialogue. The Leibniz has a mountain of parts stored in her. It's dangerous, so stand clear. Actually, we're looking for someone. Isn't there a maintenance chief by the name of Gustav on this ship? Presumably, we are talking to him. Well, you've got good time, and they'll give you that. Hang on a sec. <laughs> you've got some spirit in you for such a young girl. I like it. It's pretty interesting, it's pre a pretty interesting little coincidence. That old fart wants this thing right after I got it back from the military. Yeah, this thing was on loan to them for a little while. They were using it for some kind of research. As a matter of fact, I only just got it back today. Oh, it's nothing. Now that we got what we need, why don't we take it back to the professor? Okay, and let's just, uh, okay. To the professor! After I talk to this guy again. Because I want to see if he has something different to say. Oh, sure enough, there is a guy in here. Hmm. Hello, Hugo. I hear the Clive from Rouen it turned us down. Finding a replacement for him isn't going to be easy. You know, I bet you, you could've got him if you had offered to bring his brother along. Just throwing that out there. Hmm. Time was fast indeed inside of a factory, it seems. Hmm, I'm not sure that's actually true, but you know I've said it, so... <laughs> Terry, you know the proposal deadline for next term's thesis is coming up, right? What should I do? Got any brainstorms for me? Wow, that's... hmm. Well, we have our test units ready. We're just waiting for the testers. Hmm. Yes, more tomatoes! Yep, we are carrying a very heavy engine all around <laughs> the factory. Come to think of it, actually, they called it a, a, a combustion engine, but a combustion engine is fucking huge. Surely it's an internal combustion engine, right? Wait, I went to the second floor. No, I need the third floor.
Actually, even an, inter even an internal combustion engine is pretty heavy, but like, it, there's no... I don't think a non-internal combustion er, engine is particularly efficient. Like, a train is what I'm thinking of. A train is still internal combustion. Like, a classical train that runs on coal, that is an internal combustion engine. The what I think. Wait, no, actually it might not be. It's not a closed circuit, is it? You know, anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter! Ooh. Excuse me. It is irrelevant. You brought what you asked for. Yes, your brute strength is most useful, girl. Um, hmm. Professor. All that's left is to set up the engine and put the gas in it. If you'll go and put on the finishing touches, Tita. <coughs> yeah, look, look at that thing. That is as big as Estelle. Oh, it's doing something! <laughs> A tiny scratch is faintly visible. This thing is made of sturdy stuff. Okay, yeah, that's... I guess... That's fair. We probably wouldn't want to have to cut this open with a hacksaw. Well, it's not. Yeah, it's not invulnerable. We will even if we have to go for a dozen saw heads. It looks like we will eventually get through it. I have. Remember who you're talking to. Anyway, what is it? I just received a message from the hotel in Almo for you. If the orbital powered pump that supplies hot water for their spa is broken down. Since they can't make any money like this, they'd like for you to come and try and fix it. If you're that busy, why don't you send another engineer over? No, that pile of junk is at least 40 years old. The younger techs have no idea what to do with anything that's not state of the art. Grandpa, maybe I could go over and do it? Hmm? You took me there to help with maintenance before. I think it'll be fine if I go. But we can't just leave Mrs. Mao like this. <coughs> if that's the problem, why do you let us handle it? It's a brace's duty to ensure that the safety of liberals roadways. Therefore, seeing that Tita arrives at her destination safely is our responsibility. Well, that's another story. If you're all with her, then we don't need to worry. Don't worry about it. Kids shouldn't sweat the details. Hmm. I think that's where I wanted to go anyway, actually. Like, at the start. Let's just check. Uh, no, not that. Uh, yeah, right there. And the tower is there as well. Hmm. Do I want to do the tower now? Maybe on the way back. 
is what I'm thinking. Oh, you've all moved again! Hmm. According to this data, I have no doubts that during the blackout, all orbits suddenly and utterly ceased activity. Okay, that's a balcony. Is there anything new now that we have Tita with us? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Whoops! Let's not do that. Wilmont from Operations. I've never seen him before. He doesn't look like much, does he? You know, he looks like the kind of guy who always washes his hands and stuff. I believe that when the Ormond shut down, it was able to do a complete reset. We could use that as a new maintenance technique. Yeah, that seems... Probable. Oh, there's no one in here now. I guess he was upstairs. Did someone say it was lunchtime? Those little geezers are working straight through lunch. Hmm. Well, that's no good. confused. All I did was ask for a heating ornament, and they had me need this telephone book. All the different models? I don't have a clue where to start looking. I know that feeling. <laughs> See that customer over there? He's what you might call a layman. No ornament knowledge whatsoever. Well, I wouldn't say I have none whatsoever, but I'd have little. <laughs> like, for a lot of stuff. Um... Again, though, not computers. I actually have a pretty good idea how those work. Okay! What? Well, yeah, but you didn't bring his brother with him. Oh, wait, no. Am I thinking of who I'm thinking of? Is this who I am thinking of? Hmm. Yeah, no, it definitely is him. So, Elmo. Sounds kind of fun. There's a hot spring there, right? Right, it's a really nice place. My grandpa's taken me there a few times. Rayman over there looks like a mechanic, right? Really, the guy's a pilot. 
I've got to be the only pilot in the kingdom to fly the orbital, orbital ship while wearing a maintenance uniform. It's not about looks though, right? It's about skill. Oh? I have- wait. Have I read this? I'm not sure. I'll, I'll make sure that I have the latest issue on my way out. Also, what is with all of these these maintenance people mouthing off to Estelle? Yeah. What a self in, in yeah, no kidding. He was such an asshole, right? No, him in he him in particular is probably like Maybe not, well, I want to say it's the worst of the bunch. I don't actually know that's the case. We haven't, we haven't confirmed meeting any other royals, after all. <clears throat> Elkin's dedicated to the job, and he's good with machinery, but he's hung up on efficiency. An efficient yet undependable weapon is a useless weapon. Wait, aha! Let's see... Fourth floor, laboratory... Trapped Plain Road... Powerful ingredient to be used in new menu items... Someone has flitched some cigarettes. Fourth floor. And Road Monster. <coughs> yep. Will do. No one's up here. Let's see. Hello, Tita. Heading out? Oh, I bet the smoke thief is in the factory, too. Mm. Well, we'll just have to look around, I guess. But, uh... Mm hmm Okay, Wolf Fort, by the way, actually. Where, 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 where is it? Okay, good. I guess I will be going to the tower then, because it's on my way to the Wolf Fort, and that is a short time frame, um, mission, job. Interesting. Would you look at that? The main clock is slow. Guess the black is responsible. Hmm. Wheat, white, rye, sourdough. What kind of bread is good bread anyway? There. Perfect. It's fine as it is. My wife Aga gets such a neck sometimes. Stiff neck. Hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. 
I have this issue. Okay then. Glad we figured that out. saw the posting in the bulletin board and brought some ingredients. Please, let me see. Hmm. Hmm? May I see that tomato for a moment? It smells nothing like a regular tomato. Much stronger than I'm used to. Let me try it. <laughs> what is this? It's terrible! My teeth must have been violated! Hmm. Well, it sure can't be eaten as is. But it certainly has an interesting flavor and scent. With the right preparation, it could be useful as an ingredient for cooking. Maybe. No. I found that strong, bitter foods tend to be very good for one's health, when they don't kill you anyway. And traditional Zycean cooking calls for some very strong ingredients. There, that should be just the right level of bitter to nicely complement the dish. Here, you can be the first to try it out! Consider it my thanks for introducing me to such an amazing food. Tomato sandwich. Well, one down. For us not to make our customers feel uncomfortable here. But I'm not sure Zycines know how to be casual and friendly. Take her maid, for example. She's a bit, uh, over enthusiastic. Everyone in Zeiss takes things too seriously. It wears me out sometimes. Okay, no one's gonna be in there, but someone might be in here. Hey, Ursus, when you finish making lunch, can you make the bed for me? Louise didn't do it. Okay, honestly, this bed is more made than mine is. Um, okay. Um, okay, product testing, that's on the fourth floor. This is probably someone in the factory. Hmm. Maybe the cat took them. Oh, hey, I didn't talk to you before. No, oh, no, I did. I did. I remember. I'm going this way. It would have been faster to go the other way. Oh well. Here we are. Anything the matter? Do 
you can get to the Elmo Hot Springs using the gate at the south end of town. Yep, I know. You're down here now, though. Hmm, interesting. Okay, yeah, I've already read this. So. Mm-hmm. Let's just do a double check, actually. I'm quite sure that I've read all these books, but, you know... Actually, I'm not certain that I have read this, but I probably have. I've already been in here. Okay, on to floor number three. Was it you? Okay, well, nothing... You know, I bet that... No. No, I don't actually think so. Yeah, I actually bet it was the cat. <laughs> that got... That, uh, like, probably knocked the six. Well, why would a cat even do that, though? I swear... This time, you're not getting away. Oh, good afternoon. Oh my, so many of you. Yes, I'd certainly say so. If you can, it'd be ideal if you started your investigation at once. Sure. Well, it's not a complicated tale to tell. Someone took the cigarettes that were in this cabinet. Under my supervision, this factory has observed a no smoking policy for the last several years. Any confiscated tobacco is kept in there. Professor Travis. And Hugo. It was the cat, right? It was the cat. Yep. It was the kitty cat. to bring the cat with us! for Ray, he's out to lunch. We checked out the bulletin board and... Oh, I see. Well, thank you. I'm glad you're here. My name's Terry, and I'm a researcher here. Getting straight to business, I have a fit task for you. Sure! But first, here. Alpha Strega. 
The Strega Corporation is conducting research on new projects to bring to market. This particular test requires you wear these prototypes around to various places. Upon the successful completion of this test, all that will remain is to put them into production. So then, this new line of sneakers... Yes, it is the Strega Corporation's newest product. Didn't I just say all this? <laughs> oh, Stella's getting... Thank you for bestowing upon me, uh, us, this magnificent job. to the wolf fort and the gate. Okay. The layer between the soul and the insole is my responsibility, so we'll have to see how it holds up. Hmm. Let's see how they compare. My, 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 my craft shoes are better. <laughs> like, actually significantly better. find what you were looking for. Have you been in the clinic at any time today? Okay then, next! Yeah, we're gonna check the roof, I think. No one is up here, okay. The other guy was on the main floor. What is it? Sorry, but I in the middle of something important. <laughs> ha. Me? Okay. There's definitely someone in here. on the okay you know what I'm gonna go back to the roof because I genuinely feel like it's gonna be someone like there's gonna be someone up there and yet there is not 
Let's see, I checked people there and there. Yes, I have to do this while- wait. WAIT! No, no, read it properly! Um... I'm not gonna remember this. <laughs> so we meet again, fleshy thing. Okay, we're looking for Nyao or Nyago, probably. Or Nyao? Okay, sure. Oh? Ah! Looks like we found the culprit. Mr. Murdoch, you went to the clinic today, didn't you? No, I, I didn't. We're currently looking for the cigarettes that were taken there. Would you mind if we search this room for a little bit? Wait, okay. Um, hmm. Oh, we found the key. Oh, he sleeps in here. That looks like an ashtray. <laughs> no, you've got it all wrong. This is all just one big misunderstanding. I was just gonna take one quick puff and put the rest right back in the corner. Do you think you... I think you ought to come and explain this to Dr. Miriam. I have to say, I'm simply amazed. I would never have suspected you of all people. I- I'm sorry. I just needed a smoke! No. This is why you shouldn't smoke, kids. You will become an addict. Which you can do by not smoking. Okay then.
Okay, now I think we can finally get out of here and, uh, well, actually, I say that, but, um, <laughs> I think we, I think I'm uh, just about ready to stop for the day. I just want to report my job so I can get paid. And double check here. Short, short, long. Eh. That's a pain. I was hoping that it wouldn't be short. I didn't really want to go over here. Okay. I'm gonna save here now so I don't forget. And okay, we are gonna stop off here. I will hopefully be back sooner than a month and a half from now. And uh, have a good day, everyone. Or night, or whatever. Bye!